Hi, Mary. It's Kathleen, your CNA. The nurse asked me to come in and apply knee high stocking, okay? okay. I'm going to get that and we'll get started. One of the things you want to make sure of is that you recognize that with knee highs that you have the right size for your patient. So we're going to be putting on a knee high. They do come in thigh high, but for this skill it's a knee high stocking. First thing you want to do is make sure you provide privacy. Okay, the next thing you want to do is expose one of your patient's leg in regards to the knee high that you're going to put on. We're going to roll her pants leg up so that we can get a very good clear look of her leg. And then you want to look at your knee high. You want to make sure you know where the heel of the knee high is located because you want to make sure it's placed correctly. You're going to notice that some of your knee highs have an opening and that's for the nurse so that they can look to see that circulation is okay with the toes. Some of your knee highs may come with no hole at all, so don't get confused with it. Some of these holes could be at the back of the knee high. That's not important either. What's important is the placement of this knee high and your goal of looking at what the placement mark is, is the heel. If you have this on the heel, then you know you're in the right position for your knee high. Now when you put it on, you want to make sure that you turn it inside out first. So what I'm doing is I'm placing this on my hand and I'm putting the heel at the palm of my hand. You're going to fold your knee high down and you're going to turn it inside out. Now knee highs are extremely tight when you put them on, but that's for a reason because again, if they're not tight, they're not serving the purpose. This is to increase circulation. If someone had what we call edema or swelling, we want the knee high on to help push that fluid back into circulation so that it can be excreted out the body. So that's the purpose of knee highs, to increase circulation. Now once you've placed it on your hand, you're going to take it off, but you need to know where that heel is. So I have the heel facing me because I want to flip this knee high over her foot. So I have it facing me. You want to pull, stretch it because you have to go over her entire foot with this knee high. So I'm going to pull it, then I'm going to flip it over her foot like this. And what you want to do is take it all the way down. You're going to just move it down. You're going to go over their heel. Now remember it's tight and that's for a reason. So you want it tight. Then you're going to take the top of the knee high and just pull it down over the heel. So you're going to pull. Now one of the things you want to remember when you're putting on a knee high, whenever you're trying to get wrinkles out, you never want to pinch because remember these are tight. So to get the wrinkles out, you just simply pull. Just pull until you get it down where you want it to be. You want to pull to get all the wrinkles out and work it up the leg. Just like this. What you want to do is make sure that it's nice and smooth. You see how this is over the heel? That's what you're looking for. That's extremely important. This here is supposed to be loose. That's what we want. Because again, remember, the nurse comes in and they just check for circulation and we know that everything's okay with the tit holds or the knee high and it's not too tight. So that's exactly how you want that to fit. Once you've done that, the knee high is in place. And now at this point, you're just going to make sure that your patient is safe and secure. The bed, of course, is in its lowest position. We're going to give her her call signal. Give us a call if you need anything, okay? And now you would go out and wash your hands. This skill is now complete.